I do want to make stuff which is which is quite extreme. That is intense. I want when people to put on the stuff that I do. I'd like I'd, I'd like I'd like it to affect people the same way that my favourite music affects me. I'd like it to sort of give people goosebumps or to make their adrenaline go or to make their foot, feet move. Musically, I had Dusk finished. I started it in the August. I had it finished musically, more or less around about the Christmas, the December. Lyric-wise, from January, I had this four or five month period, a drought, a lyrical drought, and I tried everything. I go, tried going on a, I just dried up. I, I went on this health regime where I was getting up at six in the morning, drinking carrot juice, meditating, swimming sort of like 30 lengths of the pool, down the local pool, going for long walks, exercising, and I sat there, no sign of rain or anything. And this carried on for four months, and it was just driving me crazy. So I thought, right, get out the beers, the fags, and the lyrics flowed like honey. But what we tried to do was to create the impression of incredible heat, unbearable heat. And we thought, well, the best way to do that is to make it unbearably hot. And we did it in, in, in my own studio. And we got in these industrial heaters, the kind of things they use to heat up aircraft hangers. Three of them on full blast, facing me in the band. And we were having projections put on our faces, and two of the projectors broke down because of the heat worn them out. And my guitar was so hot that I thought the glue was going to start running from it. Because what was very important is because you, you hold yourself differently. When you're incredibly hot, your breathing changes, becomes more shallow. You, you, your shoulders kind of go down a bit, and you have a trouble holding yourself up. And I really wanted to capture that on the film, and I think we did. It was, we were nearly passing out some of the time. Yeah. 